In this video, we're going to look at series of real numbers. In previously in this play playlist, we've been mainly dealing with sequences. Now, a sequence is just numbers that are listed in order, you know, in some order. And we generically call them A1, A2, A3, etc. Now, a series means that we add up these numbers. So it's the sum of the AN. So it's A1 plus A2 plus A3, etc. And this goes to infinity, both of these do. But if we stop at some point, that's called the partial sum. And we it's usually generically uh, written as S of N. And N tells you how many terms. So it's from one to N of, uh, you know, it's the sum from one to N of AK, which is this. And now remember, for each N, then this is a number. So we can really think of this as a sequence. And this sequence of numbers is called the partial sum. And then this SN and AN are kind of linked. Okay, so the sequence F SN converges or diverges, then the uh, series converges or diverges. So they're, they're linked. And the first theorem is, let's assume that our series converges to A, and this series, BN, converges to B. And let's let C and D be real numbers, then this series, uh, the sum from 1 to infinity of C times AN plus D times BN is equal to C times A plus D times A. Now, the proof of that is if we let SNA and SNB be the partial sums of these respective uh, series, then this series can be thought of as the limit as n goes to infinity, and we plug in the, the partial sums or the sequences here. Now, now we're dealing with sequences, and we've done so many videos on sequences that this is now easy to show that this is equal to the limit of these. But if this convert, since these converge, this converges and vice versa. So then it's easy to show that this is A and this is B and we get this. And you can really go back and look at this adding, multiplying, dividing, convergence sequences. And then that's how we prove it. So, uh, another property, if this series converges, then the limit of our ANs goes to zero. So let's let AN be convergent, and then let SN, this sequence, be the partial sum. Note that this, the sequence SN is, a con is convergent, and thus a Cauchy sequence. And what that means is that Given epsilon greater than zero, there exists an n such that when we have m and n greater than n, then the difference, and this is for any m and n, the difference between these two partial sums is less than epsilon. So they're really, really close when we get far enough down the road. Now this holds um, for any m and n. So why don't we make this m just n plus 1, this right here? Well, and then this difference of the partial sums, now remember this difference goes, is essentially goes to zero. And so if we look at this, the difference of these partial sums is actually just that last term in the series, a n uh, plus one. But this is less than epsilon, so this term is less than epsilon. But that says that this implies that the terms limit to zero. And then we're finished. So one more um, theorem, which we'll prove later. Let uh, this series uh, be of non-negative numbers. So each an is zero or positive. Then the partial sum is an increasing sequence and converges if it's bounded and diverges otherwise. And then we'll prove this later. But in a, a couple videos uh, down the road, we'll quote this 
this theorem and I want to point back to it. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.